okay now uh, let's look at uh, the specifications of a digital to analog converter or uh, you can see characteristics of digital to analog converter that is given by your manufacturer okay some manufacturer will be there who will make digital to analog converters you will purchase or you will take from them so they will provide a something called data sheet as well uh, where all the specification of that digital to analog converter will be given to you okay so i am going to list down all the uh, parameters what all will be given or characteristics or specifications that will be given for a particular deck okay so the first one is resolution so a resolution will be given to you in a, in data sheet for a particular digital to analog converter it, you are already aware of the smallest possible change in the output voltage of deck corresponding to change in the digital input so step size or you can say resolution is they are same thing so smallest possible change in the output voltage corresponding to input okay so uh, all those uh, waveforms we have seen uh, how to calculate the step size and as you increase the number of uh, steps uh, since the full scale voltage and starting voltage are same so if you have to accommodate more and more steps uh, the resolution has to be less right i hope you are able to see it uh, pictorially uh, imagine that uh, scare staircase uh, diagram then second is accuracy accuracy as the name suggest uh, the maximum deviation of a digital to analog converter output from its expected output okay so uh, it will be, uh, there will be some expected output from a deck but it will not give the exact output it will give uh, something around uh, the the expected output that's called accuracy means like how close the output voltage is to the expected output that is what you can imagine so inaccuracy means non linearity if it is inaccurate means it is becoming non linear so if it is more and more accurate then it is following linearity that's what you think so for example if you have a vfs a full scale voltage is equal to 20 volt and accuracy is given as plus minus 0.2% it's given in percentage okay so plus minus 0.2% then you can uh, maximum error in your output voltage of dac will be this okay so full scale voltage you take and you calculate the uh, 0.2% you will get 0.04 plus minus because plus minus is given what this means is uh, if we, you are expecting your output as 5 volt your output obtained will be between 4.96 to 5.04 volts okay so it could be plus uh, 5 plus 0.04 or 5 minus 0.04 within that range the output will be shown by the dac okay so that is the meaning of this accuracy this is what this number indicates okay your output voltage could vary between these exactly you are expecting 5 volt but it is showing in between these value some some one value it will show uh, that is uh, the meaning of accuracy how the more the accurate will be the less variation will be there okay that is what you can think of and uh, the more the step size will be uh, as you increase the number of bits number of step size will increase and if you increase the number of step size resolution will decrease okay because you are more accommodating more and more steps in between 0 to full scale voltage so hence step size is decreasing or resolution is decreasing next comes linearity so linearity means as you can uh, see the name a linear input output relation means as uh, you increase or uh, decrease the input your output should also uh, uh, follow something like that so uh, that's what linearity means okay so input output relation and uh, you can see increments in in small increments in the input should lead to um, a small increments in output okay so that is one also attribute of um, uh, your uh, digital to analog converter which uh, should be uh, followed okay so linearity should be there in your uh, deck and uh, uh, then uh, comes the monotonicity monotonicity means if you increase the input your output should also increase you have seen the uh, the uh, wave waveform right uh, during resolution the output voltage looks like staircase um, 
uh, curve and when you restart it comes back to zero and then it starts again right if you go from zero to vfs full scale voltage it's like increasing as you increase the number of uh, as you increase the input uh, your output also increases in steps so it's this this kind of curve is called as monotonous curve okay monotonic uh, so monotonicity is expected from your deck or a digital to analog converter so your output should be like this uh, when the input is increased uh, your output should also increase it should not go down and then come back above okay so that is one or more property that is expected from that then there is ten temperature sensitivity uh, v not should not vary uh, with respect to temperature your output analog voltage should not vary with respect to temperature for a particular given input and it should be minimum as much as possible means if the variation is uh, as minimum as possible that will be good for dac okay that's what it is saying so um, there are some more i think uh, two more are there uh, settling time and offset error okay let's look at last two parameters which is called settling time and offset error so settling time means uh, uh, what happens is uh, whenever you are changing the input the output will not change abruptly ideally it should but it will not ch change practically so because of some passive components active components you have seen op amps switches are there and then some capacitances inductances will come into picture and because of that uh, whenever you will change the input the output will not change abruptly okay so we not does not change abruptly because of passive components active components are also there like op amps and all some ca capacitance inductance so all those components uh, affects the change okay so it will take some time so when the input is changed okay so how much to avoid what is settling time so it is it is the time uh, or uh, let me show you first so let's say you have an initial value of your v not and there is a final value of v not you you did some change in the input and it was supposed to come from this point to this point directly but it will come like this first it will go and fluctuate there and then become stable okay that's the way it will uh, do it practically so what is the settling time which a manufacturer will give it is the time it is the time given uh, which which will tell you that uh, uh, plus minus half v lsb of final value means whatever the final value is where your v out is reaching calculate the least significant voltage then multiply it with half right and plus minus above and below it right here i have given an example so this is your final value right final value dot 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 represents your final value the same curve i have made and plus and this is minus minus half v lsb calculate the lsb voltage take the half of it minus half will be in downside plus half will be in upside whatever the value will come whatever the value will come that much time will tell you the settling time okay the time it takes to reach the this voltage okay where you have plus minus half vlsb fluctuation okay till that time it is called as t settling so somewhere let's say here it is so this whole time will be here ts or settling time t set okay i hope you are getting it t set is this is the voltage this i should not write this it like this so it is the voltage take the final value final value is this above and below this we have to check how much plus minus half v lsb lsb voltage you calculate do half of it and plus and below uh, plus means above minus means below uh, wherever you are having that value till that time till that time it is called as settling time okay so that parameter is given by the manufacturer in the data sheet to you for a particular digital to analog converter okay same is uh, again next is offset error offset error is something that uh, ideally what should happen when you are providing all inputs as 0 0 0 0 or whatever all zeros means all zeros it should be if you are providing input ideally your output should also produce zero volt okay but that doesn't happen practically you have you will have some small voltage in this condition 
and that voltage is called as offset error or offset voltage so you have to correct that error if you won't correct it it will add into your output and it will show a wrong reading okay so that's why it has to be corrected so offset error means whenever you apply input 0 0 all zeros uh, you will get some uh, mini volt or micro volt um, output that should not occur ideally but it will occur practically and uh, uh, you have to remove it you have to correct it that's called offset error or offset voltage you have to correct it to get the uh, correct output okay so you do some um, means like extra stuff or uh, some add some voltages extra voltages so that you will get uh, output voltage exactly uh, offset free so those are different things just i wanted to uh, mention that what all these things mean and it is represented in a uh, data sheets uh, specifications or characteristics whatever you can when you purchase a DAC digital to analog converter you will have these parameters written in your data sheet okay so that is what it means specification